following is an audio excerpt from Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo, by John Abdo. Chapter 6. Training Commences. I sum it just continues. The large, double-sided gate swung open, commencing our second day of training. All that remained in the yard from the previous day were a few steaming piles of Courageous dung, and the haunting impression of Hagnon's face print impressed into the dirt. Walking into the entryway, Milo escorted Courageo, who was pulling a loaded wagon. Stopping in the middle of the yard, Milo removed the yoke from the bull's neck as Geopinen, who, along with acting as assistant wrestling coach under Philostratus, was serving as our chief athletic conditioning trainer, ordered all athletes, your first drill. Empty the wagon. All of us rushed to the cart and began unloading stitched skins filled with varying quantities of dirt, sand, and scree. Underneath the pile of sacks we found rasped lumber, mason stones, and a variety of halters. All such implements varied in size, shape, and weight, each being incrementally heavier than the next. Some were light and manageable, and the ones we lacked the strength to lift, we just dragged off the edge of the cart. After arranging the implements in semi-cohesive patterns across the yard, Chiopinen instructed, straddle the object you believe you own the capacity to lift. Squat down and secure your grips. Stand up quickly to heave the weights off the ground, completing the motion by flipping the implements onto your shoulders. Once you have shouldered these burdens, squat with them, curl them, press them, and walk around and bound while holding them. These objects will challenge the strength in your muscles from multiple directions, thus conditioning strong body orientations. When your strength improves, you will qualify to advance to a heavier increment. Enduring this exercise consistently over the course of the next 10 months, you will progressively ascend to peak condition, and gain the ability to exhibit your greatest athletic potentials at the games. In a synchronized outburst, every athlete and coach began to chant, Ugin! Arrayed! Ugin! Arrayed! Ugin! Arrayed! If you are enjoying this content, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. And I'll continue to bring you more fascinating information on Milo or Croton and other great mythological and mortal figures from antiquity. I'm John Abdo, thanking you for watching. Stay strong and healthy, and perhaps one day, thousands of years from now, people then will be remembering your name as well.